So, hello everyone. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshul Divakar, and today I have this uh, wonderful student with us, Dr. Radhika Bansal, who has secured a rank 89 in NEET PG 2024. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this girl. Uh, she has done her MBBS from a private medical college in Mangalore, and uh, she is somebody who has started uh, very early but decided. Uh, that she is going to give it everything, and she took this entire thing of being from a private medical college in a very positive way, and she decided uh, that she is going to prove to the world that it doesn't matter from where you have done your MBBS, but ultimately what matters is that how much effort you can put in, and despite of getting a very good rank in November uh, AIMS, that is rank three hundred, she opted for. continuing her preparation because she wanted to get the branch as well as the institute of her choice and then suffering a setback in may aims she came back with the result that she wanted so i congratulate her from the entire dams team and as uh, a teacher myself to celebrate this wonderful journey that she has heartiest congratulations uh, radhika thank it you. is a wonderful wonderful result thank you so much sir thank you so much So, so how are you feeling so i was like i'm feeling very good i can't believe like for, for the first two days i was telling everyone to check my result because i was not able to believe ki oh i got this rank because it was hard but then i thought yeah i have put all my hard work in so i deserve it so so that is a very good thing that you said that you deserve it i like this thing uh, <laughs> usually i keep saying that uh, we feel that toppers in my class this is something that i always discuss we mm -hmm. feel that toppers are people with two extra antennas here and uh, they are the people who have been gifted by god something extra and so lot of people write themselves out saying that i have not got that special thing so i can't be that thing so tell us your journey through mbbs when did you decide and what exactly went into your mind when you started preparing and did you ever imagine that uh, you are going to get such a great rank Uh, so sir i'll start from my nts journey so i am from 2017 batch but i like neat ug i could not get that good result so i ended up being in private medical college so from day one it was in my mind okay pg i have to do from government college like from day one i was very serious about this journey so uh, first year went like that because we don't know how to do things and everything then in second year i planned to join pre foundation batch because i wanted to start early so in uh, second year i joined pre foundation batch at mangalore center then there i attended all second year subjects with the faculties i used to make notes in the class and read them revise them but in second year also i was i will say i was not that serious because it uh, we think that oh it's like far away two three years are there we will do so in second year also i would say i was not that serious but in third year when covid came so we were at homes and uh, then i uh, then i started learning online so i would say that was the changing part because at that time i went full into this thing okay so now i have to be serious like my whole mind perspective changed about the preparation in second year i was very chill in third year my whole mind my whole mind changed i was like like I was attending all the classes which ever were going online on the DAMS e Medicos app. I remember just there was class from morning nine to three, then evening three to nine. So full day I was busy with DAMS e Med Medicos app. My like my parents used to say like why are you doing so much? It's three four like two three years away. But at that time I became very serious and I started enjoying also like it was not burden to learn to build concepts, make notes, revise, and it helped like it uh, helped me in my prof exams also. Like, Like eight or nine months, we were at home. So I think I have attended all third year subjects on E Medicos app, and finally are also medicine, surgery, OBG, everything. Like except few short subjects I have left. Other than that, I had attended all, and I had made notes and had revised them also. So when I went in third year back to the college, I remember there were like uh, we went, so there were final exams. because third year ended at home only so i but everyone was struggling like how we will study we have not touched a books for eight months but i was very confident ki yeah, i have studied very nicely so and i secured like uh, in third year i also uh, topped in top in college i got uh, uh, gold medals in ofthal and over, overall gold medal also 
so for then internship then internship came then i was not able to study with internship i was not able to cope up both with duties and but i was still studying something because i didn't want to get out of touch uh, fully so after internship i start, uh, i thought okay now i have to be serious so from day one post internship i was very serious about the preparation just after we came back from internship next day i started studying like i had all my ways all my notes prepared so i i had to just build upon that revise those notes give tests and solve question banks and that so uh, it went like that then in november i need said uh, then november i need said came by the time i pre- uh, finished my first read and first revision then november i need said came so i did not had any pressure at that time in my mind because i thought okay i am giving it like that only to know how much preparation like how good my preparation is and where i stand among the competition so the most important thing was that i did not had any pressure at that time on my mind so i gave it my best attempt and i got secured in all india rank of 313 but uh, i was not getting like college of my choice i was getting peripheral aims so i decided okay need pg is just couple of months away but it got postponed later so then may i said came so after postponement there was little like uh, studies was not that up to par but yeah, i'll say that i have maintained consistency throughout like i have not give up any time okay now time is there i'll give up then may i said came so the thing is in may i said i had pressure on my mind because everyone was saying okay in november she got 313 rank now she'll get obviously she'll give uh, she'll get a seat she'll get yes sir. so in uh, may i initiate i took that pressure and i was not able to perform that good because i did so many mistakes so i ended up getting rank of 1700 so after that but after that i thought okay like i have to prepare for full one year i can't do like that i can't take that pressure so after uh, i initiate i decided i will not take that much pressure and i just forgot about results i was just i thought okay i have done my hard work now i have left everything to the god he'll see so after that i got this rank of 89 wonderful 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 what stands out in this entire uh, journey that you have shared with us is that uh, there is nothing extravagant about it uh, we can't say that you went out of your leg to do anything you did what you are supposed to do you did it consistently you did it for a very long period yes and you had your own ups and downs yeah. and you saw success but it was not that great success and then you saw failure and then you realized that failures are a part of this entire process and all you need to do is detach from the outcome and just focus on the process and something that i consistently keep telling students 50% is what you study 50% is how you are when you go to the exam when you reach the exam center how is your sensibilities and yes. how do you feel and if you are not feeling up to the mark and if you are depressed and if you are uh, uh, you have taken too much of pressure you have not slept well at night two three days you have gone like that and you have not eaten and you are having lot of acidity and everything then no matter how good a student you are you won't be able to perform so uh, that is just like uh, what i like the most about your preparation is that uh, the results are awesome uh, they are ex- exemplary but the process is very simple and that is something that i think everybody should believe in that if they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and keep believing in the in the core of a preparation is hard work then ultimately the results are going to yeah. come and uh, i like this thing that even at your uh, even, even at your downfall you were at 1700 so with 300 you didn't didn't feel that okay i've achieved <laughs> something i'm getting something i'll just take and leave because that was not a fluke uh, if somebody mm-hmm. scores a good rank by yes. fluke uh, then they immediately take it and they leave it because they're like ye fir se repeat nahi hoga <laughs> but that confidence that you had <laughs> that 300 is yeah 300 is not a flu 300 is just i am at knocking at the door of a great rank and if i keep doing this thing then i'm definitely inside that 100 so yeah that is that is something wonderful so tell me like yeah. you said you prepared uh, everything notes and everything in pre foundation foundation and then internship of course you didn't get time to study so when you started in your internship 
a post internship uh then what was it like how did you approach a subject like you started on day one so how did you approach a general perspective of your preparation so so i started like uh, first i thought okay i'll first and first read should be very in depth it should not be superficial because every time now after that i have to revise will be like kind of superficial so first read should be very conceptual so for first read like i read all the main notes everything i solved all the whole question banks and everything uh, it took me 3 to 4 uh, four months and say four months it took me for first read because in first because in first read i read every every subject in detail like then after first read then i switched to uh, revision so whatever i thought okay then this, this is very like i can't revise this so that i concise myself into the uh, short notes and whatever i thought okay it's fine i will be able to revise it in pyqs and one thing i would like to say you should solve pyqs of neat pg i mean said fmg it's not like i have seen some people if they are uh, appearing for neat pg they will solve only neat pg pyqs if they are appearing for any set you should solve all three exams pyqs like minimum 5 year 5 year is minimum and everything you find new you should annotate it into your main notes so at the end you should you have one resource you have to just uh, like okay one subject is there and i have this much uh, depth i have to read only that everything is in that notes in gts also like i was give, in first read four months read gts i was giving monthly sir because at that time we are uh, reading every new subject so whatever i used to find in G- i made one gt notebook also so whatever like deepthi ma'am said that three column strategy that i found really very helpful so whatever you are getting wrong whatever you are finding new you should make some columns in your gt notebook okay this is wrong this i can't get wrong in the main exam so you should write in that wrong topic and if you find something new you can add okay if you will get time you can read that also so i was maintaining one in gt notebook also side by side and every pyqs whatever uh, like whatever extra thing is there i was adding in my main notes so my notes are complete nothing is missing then i completed my first read uh, it took 4 months then i started with my first revision and before before november i said i did one main read and one uh, revision then after november i said uh, i started revising again like after that paper got postponed so many times so i was able to revise four to five times and every time i used to find something new i used to add it in the notes so that everything is in at one place i don't have to refer so many places so it was like very simple strategy but the thing is you have to revise more and more and solve more and more questions and then dam started taking cbts in december in december so i attended almost every cbt i think except one so cbt is also like i find really very helpful because cbt was at par with neat pg level because uh, in NEET, this year neat pg exam was little on moderate to difficult side so what I, what came useful was ruling out options because you don't know direct answer to the question you have to read and rule out the three options to come out to the answer so that i learned with cbts and all the gts i gave because cbt also there were many questions when two options were very confusing so the thing is you have to revise again and again and solve questions again and again and give test and cbt like also this year neat pg like i didn't feel anxious i don't know why because it was simulation of the same thing which was i was doing again and again because uh, my cbt center was also two hours away so i used to go there and appear for the exams when i was going for neat pg i didn't feel that anxious because i thought okay that same thing is repeating so it was very nice cbt experience i mean i i have actually nothing to say because these are the things that all the things that we have designed uh, in the in the yes. courses and the classrooms and we keep saying these things one gt per month and try to test yourself and go for all tests so that and always Uh, simulate the exam scenario so always travel and have light breakfast and sit at one place and sit in an uncomfortable chair and all these things that i keep yeah. saying and uh, and this is just wonderful that somebody is doing it because when i tell these things then i often feel that uh, will anybody be able to do these things but i'm feeling very glad that yes somewhere somebody is thinking that simple strategy is the best strategy and you don't need extravagant things you just need to keep focus uh, on the subject in hand your schedule uh, but one thing is very stand out that uh, i'm sure you must have done very a uh, lot of hard work in your second and third year because four months first read conceptually that means you were very fast 
because four months yes. is about sixteen seventeen weeks, and we have nineteen subjects. Yes. That means you finish short subjects in three three days, and that is yes, only sir. possible while when you were doing the foundation. Then that time you finished your entire notes, and that is why yes. you could do it in three days because otherwise it would take around four and five and a half months for anybody yes, to sir. finish one read conceptually. So that was one yes. very stand out point with you. uh that you finished in 4 months and that is why before i and i said you could uh finish one revision yes sir and uh, test giving ability is something that is wonderful uh because yes, yes that anxiousness thing doesn't happen if you yes. have given enough number of tests very good very good i have actually you have described it so beautifully it's like a ideal preparation and it's it's so simple uh yes. make notes read notes Give test, revise notes. Give more test, revise notes. Give more test, revise note. Give more test. It's like that. We have to do repeat it again and again. Same thing. Very good. So you, so in your support system, you have your family. You were doing it with some friends as well, or it was just you and your family. So me and my family and one or two friends. One or two friends. So you did not spend too much time discussing or on social media or something like that. Not that much. <laughs> It's very good. You were very focused that way. Yes, sir. So because it was in my in my mind that I have to get government seat because being from private that every but it's difficult to believe everyone says that it's not going to happen. I mean, it doesn't look good. I mean, it doesn't look good. But I had in my mind, okay, I have to do that. It at any cost. I have to get government seat. So there is a this there is this famous quote uh, which says that uh, sometimes not getting what you want. is like a wonderful stroke of luck so yes, i think you not getting a ug seat in government was a wonderful stroke of luck because when it really matters to be in government is post graduation yes. and uh, of course this is this is going to catapult your career on a different uh, path now you have all the options uh, by the way what is your uh, choice now what are you going to do so not decided yet i am super confused but i think maybe dharma not sure <laughs> Not sure. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you are in a problem of plenty right now. So yes, I can understand. Now you have everything. So <laughs> that is very nice. Yes. So it was so nice, Radhika. Is there anything you want to uh, again tell uh, your juniors or your peers who are still preparing, especially who are in private medical colleges and who are sitting somewhere thinking this is not my cup of tea? Uh, so first thing i would like to say that first thing is believe in yourself because if you will not believe in yourself no one will so first thing is you have to believe that yes i can do it and i will do it it should be very strong belief and second thing is just follow very simple strategy stick to one source make your notes just stick uh, do pyqs make a uh, do question banks do gts and revise that thing only again and again nothing new nothing like anything it's very simple just stick to your notes and revise them and be consistent throughout your preparation never give up like this time there were so many things postponements and everything like when it got postponed on 23rd june i i became light with my preparation so one thing my dad told me that you have not reached your destiny till now so you can't be light so like that sentence sticked into my mind and then i started working hard very much again so the thing is don't give up any point of uh, any point of time whatever situation happens just keep knocking the door yes sir yes sir that is that is just wonderful uh, my really my best wishes to you but uh, hats off to your family as well i can see that you are very relaxed at your home and uh, after you finished your internship you have come to your comfort zone yes, and uh, that has reflected in the way you have done in this exam i could sense that thing that you are very okay with being at home and your parents around you and studying nicely that's a very very nice yes, thing sir. support system is i feel very very important uh, oh, it yes. it is not a journey that can be done alone and yes, if sir. you have people who are following the same dream that you have whether it is your family or friends or some colleagues uh, then i think the journey does become very easy uh, it was really nice talking to you radhika uh, my best wishes to you all the very best stay in touch and do let us know finally what you decide yes sir sure sir thank you so much sir it was pleasure talking to you sir okay bachcha bye good night